Hello friends, welcome back. It is a busy day in my kitchen. I've got pork carnitas going for girls varsity basketball team to come over tomorrow. And I just stirred up some yeast rolls for dinner tonight. And I was working on this Dots pretzel recipe and I've been meaning to bring it to you for a while. I've been working with an original recipe, which I will link down below, but I have tweaked it to our tastes and um, the size pretzel tub that I have. So I'm going to give it to you like I'm doing it, but the original recipe will be linked below if you would like to follow that. First, um, what are Dots pretzels? <laughs> I think they're a Midwest thing. I'm not entirely certain, but it is a very flavorful butter twist pretzel that are quite expensive actually when you um, get them like at the gas station or something like that. And so I've wanted to make my own copycat recipe and see if I can do it cheaper. Um, and just like with a little bit of just like plain ingredients, not so many like chemically ingredients. Um, I will say, however, though, that Sam's Club has Dots pretzels right now. I think it's like $9.98 for a 30 ounce bag, which is very similar to this. I'm using a 32 ounce tub of butter twist pretzels. I got this at Menards. Um, I'm sure you can find it other places too, but this is the cheapest place I could find it. It was $6 for 32 ounces of pretzels. Um, so before we get started though, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 200 degrees so that that can get going. And then I will show you what I'm doing, the amounts and what ingredients we are using. All right, like I said, I'm using a 32 ounce tub of butter braided pretzels. We are using salted butter, dill weed, garlic powder, um, ranch seasoning. You could also, if you make up your own, you could also use your own seasoning blend. I'm just working through some of this in storage, but I am looking into making my own um, ranch seasoning packet with just some better ingredients, lemon juice, and that's it. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna get a big bowl and we're going to dump all of the pretzels in it. And I'm gonna keep this tub because I'm going to store them in this tub, I think. Um, why not? Long. I'm pretty sure the lid is going to be pretty, oh yeah, the lid's nice and tight, so I'm going to save that and we're just going to store it right in there. And there's not a whole lot of crumbs or salt at the bottom of this. Oh yeah, there is actually. So I'm going to, I'm going to discard all that extra salt that's at the bottom. We really don't need that in there. Okay. What we're going to be doing is melting our butter first. Um, this is one of the tweaks that I've made. I am cutting down on the amount of butter in the recipe just to make it not as expensive because really by the time you factor in the butter, I'm not saving a whole lot from the Sam's Club price. Like the gas station and the regular grocery store, for sure saving a lot of money. But the Sam's Club price is actually pretty good when you factor in how much butter I'm using in the recipe. So we're gonna start with two sticks of butter. If I feel like I need more, I can always add more. But let's melt our two sticks of butter. Now I'm sure if you used like the grass-fed butter, it would be even more yummy, but that stuff's pretty expensive. So I'm just using salted butter from, I think from Sam's Club actually. Okay, 
we have our melted butter. Now we are going to add six tablespoons of this dry ranch mix. Three, four, five, six. And a little stir. Okay, then three teaspoons of garlic powder. Oh, I forgot an ingredient, cayenne pepper, which in our family's opinion, you need this to give it that like slightly spicy flavor that Dots has. If you want it to taste authentic, I would not skip this part. So we are doing three fourths of a teaspoon. Careful not to breathe this in. I've made that mistake before. Okay, then another modification to the recipe, the original one, is I cut way back on the dill weed. I love dill weed, but with the ranch, um, that's a lot of dill. So I cut back on the dill weed that the original recipe called for, and it seems to be the perfect amount. All right, we're just gonna give this a mix. And the original recipe calls for lemon pepper. I didn't have any, so I'm just using bottled lemon juice. And then with the cayenne, I didn't add any other pepper. So we're gonna do three teaspoons of lemon juice. Three. I would also not skip this part because you really kind of need that sour flavor that is in there. Okay, I'm going to stir this up really well. Then we're just going to pour it all over the pretzels. Get it laid out on a sheet pan. I have a sheet pan over there with parchment paper on it. And then we are going to bake this at 200 for 40 minutes and we just are gonna stir it once halfway through. So let's get this all mixed up and get it on the pretzels. is going to be plenty because it's all getting coated nicely. I don't see any dry spots or anything. sheet tray. These need to be in a little thinner of a layer and so that they don't like, we want them to bake. We don't really want them to steam. Ok, 
Okay, they're all in the oven. I set it for 20 minutes. I'm just gonna give it a stir when that goes off, set it for another 20 minutes, and then we're gonna let it cool completely before we put it back in our tub. But I will meet you back here when they're done. We will taste test them. And I hope you guys make this, that's a good one. Okay, I have a taste tester here. They just got out of the oven. They're still kind of hot, aren't they? A little bit. Yeah. They're good though. Good? Mm-hmm. Do they taste like Dots pretzels? Yeah. Like a lot or a little? Kind of in the middle, like they got it's, their own. It's a pretty good copycat recipe, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I hope you guys will try it. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.